Hi there, in this video we're going to be talking again about how we go about estimating the population variance given that we only have a sample from that population. And at the end of the last video we derived an unbiased estimate of the population variance which we called sigma hat squared which was equal to 1 over n minus 1 times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar or squared. And we sort of said that this was quite a counterintuitive result because we might have expected at first glance this sort of thing to be divided by 1 over n rather than 1 over n minus 1. So in this video, I want to sort of provide another way for thinking about why we need to divide this thing through by 1 over n minus 1 rather than um, 1 over n. Uh, and that's to do with thinking about the sample mean as a least squares estimator. So let's say that we had some sort of cost function that we were trying to minimize. And we were trying to minimize the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus sort of x tilde all squared. And we were, so basically the idea here is that we are trying to choose x tilde to minimize this sum. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we need to differentiate this sort of cost with respect to x tilde. Yeah, and then we get sort of minus 2 times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x tilde being equal to 0 because we're trying to minimize this thing. And then it's quite easy to show that x tilde, in fact, equals x bar, which is equal to 1 over n times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi. Okay, so why have I sort of taken a step back to derive something that we sort of might have assumed anyway? Well, the idea here is that it is actually the sample mean which minimizes this sum of the squares. And in general, when we sort of have our population, and we take a sample from that population, and then for that particular sample, we calculate the sample mean. In general, that's not going to be exactly equal to mu. On average, it will be, but sort of one particular value of the sample mean won't necessarily be exactly equal to mu. So what does this show? Well, it shows that the, um, the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar or squared is going to be less than or equal to the sum of i equals 1 to n um, xi minus the population mean mu or squared where I've got this equality here in this sort of inequality for the case where x bar actually in fact equals mu but the idea is that x bar in fact minimizes this sum over the squares of um, this particular um, summation here so why do we care about this? Well, it turns out that if we were to form an estimator which was, um, we're going to call sigma bar squared, which is equal to 1 over n times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus mu all squared. So we're assuming here that we know the population mean. Uh, it turns out it's quite easy to show that this, in fact, is an unbiased estimator for sigma squared. But... How does this compare with um, what we've got above here? Well, you might just think that all we need to do is we need to replace this term here by um, our sort of term which contains the sample um, mean, and then that in turn would similarly be a unbiased estimator for the population variance sigma squared. But from this inequality above, we know that this term on the left-hand side is always less than or equal to um, the sort of sum on the right hand side where we know the population mean. In other words, if I was to replace um, this term on the right hand side of sigma bar squared by our sort of corresponding thing with, with the um, sample mean, then we would get that our sort of new um, sigma bar squared, which I'm going to call sigma bar prime squared, would in fact be on expectation less than or equal to the um, true population variance sigma squared. So, and that's because that follows directly from this inequality above here. So the idea is that we need to correct sigma um, bar squared prime in order to take into account the fact that we don't actually know the population mean. And we do that by Bessel's correction. So we sort of, instead of dividing this whole thing through by n, we divide it by n minus 1 if we are replacing mu by x bar. And that, and that is a way of um, us unbi producing unbiased estimates of the population variance. Because in general, if I didn't replace this by n minus 1,
then because um, my sum here over sort of xi minus x bar all squared is less than my sum of xi minus mu all squared, I will in general get underestimates for the population variance if I just was to divide it through by n.